Hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel. And you can tell by the funny looking pigeons, we're playing Farm Sim. Well, actually, no we're not. I'm doing a map review. This is, oh my goodness, you guys just... Slow your volume down here, I'm trying to speak. We'll, we'll walk away from the chickens. Wow. Noisy crowd, and they just don't go away. This is, um, recently released on FSUK. This is White Oak Farm. It is a really pretty little single-player map. Not a lot of furls, not a lot of thrills, um, no missions, no gold coins. The crops are completely standard. The animals are completely standard. It's just a really nicely put together little map. Um, as you can see, the map author has, um, well, found the uh, need to give you pretty much every piece of equipment in the game to start off with. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot. <laughs> I do believe the soil mod is included. And uh, I might have just forgot to include the soil mod mod in my zip folder. So my apologies. But uh, as you can see, everything you do require is here on the main farm. The mod author... This is a really cool pit. Check this out. <laughs> Not where you want your doggy to go off and stumble into. But, uh... Oops, I'm completely stuck. Yeah, absolutely. I cannot move. There we go. There. We're back where we started. In noisy, noisy chicken land. Come on now. Alright. Anyways... <laughs> Carrying on. This is grain storage here. Um, would appear we've got uh, wheat and barley. Uh, animation map trigger, as you can see by the door symbol. And here would be your. Uh, hmm. Well, they didn't leave us any. But I guess your canola. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Well, you gotta open each door separately. Really? Hmm. Wow. Okie dokie. Little calf pen there. This would be, of course, your uh, different fert types. There's your standard fertilizer. This would be everything for your soil mot. We've got our cow shed here. Nice cow shed, too, by the way with the solid poop pit there we've already seen the liquid slurry tank is down there we've got a nice big silage pit here and then the girls themselves are back here in this really nice little meadow hello ladies isn't that awesome neat grass texture too Oop. <laughs> She's watching us. I don't know what her plan is here, but mm-hmm Yeah, you better just turn around I tell you <laughs> All right, let's close up their gate So that's the cow end There's some more kit in here. We got uh, a Straw shredder and a mix feeder very nice, along with, what is that, a T6 or a little T4? Well, either way, we get a front loader, and it is the T6. So, yeah, really generous with the gear, although, quite frankly, I look around here and I go, old-timey gear coming up, you know, I think it would be ideal for that, don't you? Very cool. Um, well, I'm going to assume, since they left a shovel right there in front of us, that they're telling us, you want to work this stuff? Shovel it. Okay, fair enough. It's been a while since we've run that kind of silo system. Don't have an issue with it. Now, they are nice enough to supply us with a truck. I'm just going to uh, open this because I happen to know it opens the wrong way and the last time it crunched my truck up into the wall. I mean, it's not the prettiest truck in the world, but... Come on. No need to be wrecking it. And, of course, we can't be letting the chickens out. So let's close the gate. 
I know, like that's gonna stop chickens. <laughs> All right, we can, uh, well, that's, that was a nice drive. If we go over here, we get an idea. Okay, this is a meadow, so what do they want for the meadow? Two and a half hectare, 50K. Hmm. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. In fact, that's pretty cheap. I grant it, as I say, it is Meadowland, but either way, not bad at all. Now, although there are no forestry areas, <laughs> he qualifies, on the map, there are, in fact, uh, a place to sell both logs and trees. Okay, here's a different field with crop. And exact same price, exact same size field. So there you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh yeah, they're twins. <laughs> fields 5 and 6 are basically twins. So there you are. We do start with a couple of fields. As you can see, we actually start with about half the map. Um, would appear to be three meadows, one either sugar beet or potato, and then a couple of cropages. And then there's fields like what we just looked at that do have crops. So first thing, we'll go in and have a quick little look at the village. Again, everything is laid out really nicely, very believably. There is no collision on the hedges. <laughs> um, some people complained about that. Some people went, well, I just assumed there wasn't. It's just one more thing to worry about when you don't need to. So, nice little village. Nothing super ground shattering. If we stop here at Oak Hill Stables, we'll find we can sell off our bales. Brachar. Yes, indeed. We can say hello to the pretty puppies. Hello, dear. What a good dog. And... There's also another meadow for sale back here, and a further field, just further afield. And uh, <laughs> it carries on much the same way. Across the road, we find White Oak Farms cheap sheep seats. Here we go. Hello, ladies. No water mod. Again, this is a very basic, very basic map. Um, but again... It, it has a believability to it. It's not all that alive. There's no pedestrians. There's no traffic. But it just seems to have a... Oh, there's more kit here, just in case you thought he was ripping us off for starter gear. Oh, there's our pallet. Excellent. What do we have here? I thought I'd leave some of the doors closed just so we could have a surprise. Oh, more kit. Oh. In case you can't make up your mind whether you want square bales or round bales. <laughs> oh, tell me I can get in this thing and drive it out of here. No such luck. Oh, well. It's not like I expected we could get in there either. The old lizard, eh? Wow. All right, so that's the cheap sheep seats. Next thing we're going to go have a looky at. Get ours turned around. See you there, woolly crunchies. Have yourselves a good day. Do, 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 do. Church services are, because I know you guys are going to want to know, noon till 8. Oh, this is the inn, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, really? <laughs> Pretty lazy preacher doesn't want to come in till noon. No, the church is actually on the other corner. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, uh, well. It's not like I wasn't going to hell anyway. Alrighty, here we go. So, like I say, a very simple, very basic map. It just, to me, it cries out old tiny gear, right? Because that's it, we're now at the other end of the map. Now, had we taken some little two-cylinder tractor that went thump 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 like the old Forschritz or something we were using on the Vale France map, that would have seemed a more believable ride. So here we are, this is Palazers, and they buy and sell pretty much everything all right this one here allows you to buy equipment this one here allows you to do your garden center buying of the pallets we have our bank we have a place to sell our kit 
In here, we have wheat, barley, OSR, maize, potato, sugar beets, and wood chips. Can all go in there. <laughs> and then wood and wool. So yeah, it's a very all-around sell point. See, I would think a place like this would have a huge space in the back for the semis to wheel in and haul away all the goodies. <laughs> but they don't. So, oh, here we have a field that's already been chomped. Oh, this is one of ours. Oh, goody. And there's no crop in it. So, field 13. A funny looking color. Oh, I see. He's full of sugar beets. So, there we go. We own that as well. And then we own field 14. And it has... Barley. Awesome. So, we do own a couple of ready-to-go crops. You do own a couple of ready-to-mow fields. And, uh, well, like I said, you, enough equipment, you could sell it and pretty much buy everything in the old-time inventory that existed. So, again, available on FSUK. Really nice single-player map. You know, loaded up with old Fords and Lizards and you name it, and this would be quite a treat to play. I'd maybe even think about, you know, throwing an orchard on here and maybe a couple of booths to sell the goodies. Something like that might spice it up a bit. But there you go, guys. That's been our look at White Oak Farm. I can only assume that all of these big trees are white oaks. Hmm. Very cool. We do have white oak groves around here as well, by the way. So, And they are great stately trees, as most oaks are. Of course, they're full of acorns, so... Keep in mind, even oaks were once nuts, so... Um, that's it, guys. That's been the map. Really, really nice. I would recommend it. Again, single player. Um, I suppose you could get six of your friends together and do the map up in about, I don't know, nine minutes. <laughs> there you go. The link will, of course, be in the description down below. Um, when you go there, read the mod author's description there are a few mods you need as i say animation map trigger among them the soil mod if you care to play that particular style um he also has a recommendation of a bunch of kit like the marshall trailer pack the massey ferguson pack etc etc again i think we've got enough kit here to probably rule the world but there you go if you like the video please hit the like button give it the big thumbs up that always helps if you have any comments leave those down below those are always appreciated and uh well this has been species 7 for farm sim 15 having a look at white oak farm Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now. I'll go play on the slide. Woo! See, I don't even know how to use that. Oh, this is where you're all hiding. Silly girl.